Take a good long look and see God has given us all we need to be free. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets us free. It's about L O V E, love from the Father of above. It's about hope, it's about life, it's about the love of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. It's about everlasting, never failing love. That's right. Come on now and open up the book. Come on now and take a good long look. And see, God has given us all we need right. to be free. It's about you, it's about me, it's about the truth that sets us free. It's about L-O-V-E, love from the Father of above. It's about hope, it's about life. It's about the love of Jesus Christ. It's about everlasting, never failing love. It's about everlasting, never failing love. Amen.
be glad when he starts leading the singing. <laughs> I'm tired of y'all looking at me. <laughs> 169 without music, Stephen. You come in when you want to. Let me live, blessing Lord, in the light of thy word. Let my life be a light on a hill. Leading souls now astray to the straight, narrow way. Help me do some good deeds while I
87. Everybody feels like it's standing in feet. <laughs> of God today, ain't it? Homecoming Sunday. Another year that God has blessed us to, to be able to come out Sunday after Sunday and Wednesday to worship the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Has He been good to you in this year? He's worthy to be praised. Our God is. He's a Redeemer. Amen. And He come to seek and to save that which was lost. And my prayer is today, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, today you'll come home on homecoming. That's what we want, ain't it, church? Come home on homecoming. Come to know Jesus this day. I'm glad to be here this morning. Amen. It's good to be here. Good to be saved. If you're visiting with us, we are so glad that you're here. Make yourself right at home. We got some special singing today before we get into the message. And uh, we're just looking forward to it. This is what worship is. It's giving something to God. And uh, while they're singing today, if you feel like raising your hand, you raise your hand. If you feel like shouting, you shout. You do as God tells you to do. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Uh, Brother Terry Seals, good friend of mine. I met him a few years ago and uh, been in church with him several times. And was we just come out of revival a couple of weeks ago. It was in 10 nights of tent revival. And it was just a wonderful uh, series of meetings. Brother Terry was there and he sung one night and I asked him if he'd come out and sing a few songs this morning. And you're all going to remember him when you see him. Last time he was here, Brother Mike Upright was here singing that day. So Terry, we're glad to have you. Won't you come on and sing what God's got on your heart? Homecoming's coming. I said, I'll be there. I've got some chicken I need to eat. <laughs> <coughs> I said, there with that vent wall going, that smell coming up through there. I told my wife, I said, we got to stay for dinner. <laughs> I said, that started me dead. But I tell you, it's good to be here. Good to be able to come out. I, I love everybody, everybody I get to come meet and visit with. No shame, long while. And I tell you, just love it. Appreciate it. The letterbox boys and, and all the way they are, just the way they do. And, and I appreciate your church. I watch it online. You probably don't know that, but I see you every now and then online, and I watch it. So I appreciate the, the, the way it is. But you know, one day we're going to go home, and after That's a while, right, all these things are going to be over with. Right, right. So while we're here, <coughs> we've got a little work to still be done. That's right. I can tell you I'm nothing, and that would be telling the truth. I can say I am worthless, a hopeless sinner, that's true. Oh, but that is just part of the story. I haven't told everything. Yeah. I was lost, reborn, and raised a child of the King. And I am a royal yeah. descendant of a king yeah. from Jerusalem. Yeah, I'm a part of the blood 
bloodline of David, that's who I am. And I claim kindred to Isaac, to Jacob, and Abraham. I'm a royal descendant of a king from Jerusalem. Oh, how in this world can I stand and say such a thing? To say I am royal and to claim that my father's a king. Oh, I'll have to take you yeah. to an altar right. where it happened yeah. many years ago. Yeah, I was lost, reborn, <laughs> and raised a child of the king. That's all I know. Yeah, and I am a royal descendant of a king Amen. from Jerusalem. Amen. I'm a part of the bloodline of David, that's who I am. And I claim kindred to Isaac, to Jacob, and Abraham. I'm a part of the bloodline of David. That's who I am. Amen. Amen. You know we're all in that bloodline. I got you'll play me one here on that. I I got one song here. Show me on my mind. Just play a I'll do one more here and you first back me up. That sounded too good to not have you help me on that. This book like them back there? Yeah, yeah, All right. Hey, I'm going that way one day. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to meet them old fellas that I'm talking Amen. about there, Dave. Amen, Kindred, I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be right in the midst of them one day. And that's a homecoming that I'm looking forward to. Amen. That's Amen. one we're going to have to, that we, we've not never seen before. Right now, we've got chicken and dump. Hey, we're going to live on man. <laughs> We got Amen. heavenly man that we get to be with. Amen. Amen. If you're going that way, you I pick up book turned to 88 and help me on it here. Because I think it's one of the best old songs that just gets in the mood to yeah. go on home. Amen. <laughs> I'm going that way. We'll sing that up here one night at a little church, and I'm telling you, it felt like the breeze of the Lord just yeah. passed by. <laughs> it felt like I was on my way out of here. Amen. I felt that boy looked, he grabbed me by the arm, and he said, Brother Turn, did you feel that? I said, Yeah. <laughs> I said, I think we're ready to go out here. <laughs> but I'm going that way. Listen to this old song. Help me out. On. <clears throat> Whatever played in. I've heard of a land of joy and peace and wonderful life. A beautiful place, a mansion fair, and skies ever bright. Savior dear forever shall stay and having been saved by grace divine I'm going that way and I'm going that way I'm going that way and Jesus the Savior I adore is with me each day As onward I go That those who are still astray in sin My Savior may know I want them to sing His praise above some beautiful day For glory to Him who died for me I'm going that way I'm going that way, I'm going that way, and Jesus the Savior I adore is with me each day, I'm playing 
singing to him and never to stray. Yes, singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. Here's that homecoming. I know I shall meet him at the gate when trials are past. I know I shall meet him face to face in glory at last. And though I believe that when we meet, well done, he will say. For trusting his soul redeeming love, I'm going that way. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore, is with me each day. I'm clinging to Him and never to stray. Yes, singing His praises all. I'm clinging to him and never to stray. Yes, sing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. I 
Blessing to be here on this homecoming Amen. morning. And uh, I've sung many a song in this church house. Many a song. And today I can say, uh, for one of the first times, I'm singing as a redeemed Amen. child of God. I, for, for those of you that don't know, uh, back on July 30th of this year, uh, I was saved. I gave my heart to the Lord. Amen. And, and, I, and I urge you today, um, it's so easy. You can you can put it off and believe that you can make it in this world without Him, but you can't. You cannot make it in this world without our Lord. Man. And uh, I'm just so thankful to be here this morning. Hopefully these songs will be a blessing to you. Oh, to be there when the Savior spoke the great command in the wonder from his wonder making hands no miracle has caught my or caused my heart to sing but by faith I now can realize there's a miracle Never seen the thousands fed or the blind made to see. I have never watched him raise the dead, but I know when he lifted me, there's a one. Like heal the sick and raise the dead and be a miracle in me. I have never seen the thousands fed or the blind made to see. I have never watched him raise the dead, but I know. amazing when the Lord comes into your heart how your mind changes and your eyes change. I tell you songs that I've sang my whole life and verses that I've seen my whole life they just mean so much more now and I and I urge you today and I know Shane would agree with the same thing if you feel that tug yeah. if you feel the Lord dealing with you come run Amen. to this altar run to it or if you have a need come to this altar you will not bother us in the least Amen. 
to be well known of men. I may not ever be. I'm sure my name will not go down in history. There'll be no marble plaque to tell of my good deeds, nor any great parade to See tomorrow Today is the day 
heard a sweet voice coming down from heaven. sadness, and I, I can't wait to make it there one day and see Amen. my Lord. Amen. If I could count the tears that have fallen, it would seem like an ocean to me. And if my heart was a window stars you would see, but tears will never stain the streets of that city, no griefs of death on my mansion's door, teardrops are welcome beyond the gate. on heaven right now. Get your mind on heaven. It's the first steps that you'll stop, that you'll make into those That's gates. Right. Get your mind on it right now. I've questioned the loss of a loved one. Cause the grave seems so final and cold. Oh, meet it me again. That's right. Where death has no victory That's right. In a land where we'll never grow Tears will never stain the streets of that city No reeds of death I know from here to heaven is but a 
good job. Amen. Praise God forever. No pressure on me. I'm standing between you and dinner. No pressure. <laughs> you go over sometime and read. We've been going through First Peter and Bible study on Wednesday evenings. and You'll go and you'll read in there and it'll tell you when you get... I think this might be actually in Second Peter. I, I'm terrible at remembering where Scripture is. But you'll find in your Bible where that God told the uh, shepherds to feed the flock. Amen? Feed the flock. I'm getting ready to get in on a study about shepherds. I, I, I hear a little bit this week that sparked my interest. And if God will show me what I'm looking for here, I, I'll share it with you someday. And I pray it blesses you. Exodus chapter 13, if you got your Bible, I, I'll not tarry long. I, I'll do my best to get up here and say what God has laid on my heart and get back down. Uh, we don't, we, we're here for homecoming today. It's a, it's a joyous time. Amen. And, and we're glad uh, the, to know that uh, we have been able once again to gather together in the house of God. And God, I had two or three different scriptures that were on my heart, and I didn't know exactly where to go. And I read this this week, and it sparked in my heart. And God said, this is what I want preached for homecoming. Uh, so, I ain't going to stand here and not do what God tells me to do. Uh, if I did that, we might as well go down and eat right now, because the service would be over. But if we'll mind God, we'll be blessed. It's already been a blessing to be in God's house. Amen. What some wonderful good singing this morning. Amen. Wonderful good singing. Started with these children right on up. And uh, what a blessing to each and every one of you. Again, if you're visiting with us, thank God for you. We want you to feel free to worship God with us this morning. I pray that you do so. Uh, it is good to be here. I'm a lot happier here than where I was last Sunday. Me and Adam was in the hospital last Sunday. I didn't like it much. He didn't either. But I'm thankful for God's people praying. Amen. And he had his tonsils out two weeks ago this past Tuesday. On the 12th day, that night, I just had laid down Saturday night, last Saturday night. He came in and he said, I'm bleeding. That's scary if you've ever been around tonsils. And... Uh, we tried what the doctor told us to for about an hour, and it wasn't working, and we went to the emergency room. Spent all night there. They got it stopped, but wasn't happy with it. Transferred us to Lexington. Doctor came in, tried several different things. He wasn't happy with it. I stood over him and I said, When you were polluted in your own blood, I say unto thee, live. When you are in your own blood, I say unto thee, live. Hey, God's Word works. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel 16, 6, you'll find that. I believe, I'm a believer in what the Word of God says. I'm glad when God saw me polluted in my own blood, He said, Shane, live. And I believed Him, Kenneth, and I live. Amen. He took His blood and washed me of my own filth. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. That taketh away the sin of the world. So we we believed and we prayed and they had to take him in do a little extra surgery and we come out of there and we're here today and I thank God forever. Amen. That we are. Exodus chapter 13. I try not to tarry long. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, <clears throat> it is mine. And Moses said, sorry, I can't see you real good today. And Moses said unto the people, remember this day. Write that down or make a mark in your Bible or highlight it or however, but remember this day. And when she came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, 
For by strength of hand of the Lord brought you out from this place, there shall no living bread be eaten. This day came ye out in the month Abib. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey. Thou shalt keep this service in this month. Remember what he said? Remember this day. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall be no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leavened seen with thee in all thy quarters. You know what God's saying? I don't need your help. I just need you to be obedient. Amen. Leaven made the bread rise, but God said, you ain't going to need that. I'm going to rise the bread. And they shall show thy son. Thou shalt show thy son. And that day saying, this is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand and for a memorial between thine eyes that the Lord law, law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Thou shalt keep this ordinance in His season from year to year. Hey, Connor, will you do me a favor? Will you pray for me this morning and for the service? Would you do that for me? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Ain't you glad these children are obedient unto God? Uh, and stand here and, and uh, pray and talk to the Lord. Drew, you've done a good job praying this morning. Connor, you've done a good job praying. I believe in encouraging them. Amen. When they, when they do for the Lord, let's lift them up and, and thank God for them. I want to preach this morning on that thought of I told you to underline, remember this day. Just a simple thought of remember this day. This is homecoming. It's a special occasion. And it's a time where that we gather and we thank God for another year that He has blessed you and I to live. Amen. Some are not here this morning. Some have gone home. They've not come to homecoming they went to a home going, amen. And I'm saved. How many is glad they're saved? And because of that, I'm going to have a home going one day after a while. Don't know when it's going to be, but should the Lord come right now, I'll go home, amen. i with Jesus, because the Bible promises me that as a child of God, that I get to go with Him. I can't be sad because I get to go with Him, amen. Uh, but I thought, you know, when I was reading this scripture, Moses was telling them what you've seen, what you've been a part of, what you've participated in. I want you to remember this day. Amen. God gave up Moses that commandment. I thought, you know, out of all other services that we've had down through the years, homecoming is one uh, that is always something that is stuck in my mind, uh, especially since I've been saved. I got saved on April the 7th, uh, uh, 2002. Amen. I've been in 21 homecomings now. I can only remember one year that we didn't have a, a homecoming service here at Letterbox, uh, and that's because uh, that we had a death in the church that week. And I remember it wasn't a sad occasion uh, uh, because it was a brother that was ready to go home, amen. And, and we were celebrating with him uh, in his home going. But uh, that's the only one I can remember. How many that are sitting here in this service today uh, have ever been to a homecoming at Letterbox? Box Baptist Church. Could you raise your hands with me? If, well, everybody raise your hand because you're in one right now. Amen. 
I bet if you've been one in the past, let's put it that way. Raise your hand up there high. All right, amen. Thank God. Uh, we're glad you're here. I pray that when you leave here today, uh, that you'll remember this day. Uh, you say, preacher, is it on God's calendar? A uh, uh, friend, every day's on God's calendar. Uh, uh, David put it like this. Uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, this is the day the Lord hath made. Uh, uh, let us rejoice and be glad uh, uh, therein. Uh, I believe every day uh, is on God's calendar. Uh, and you're God's creation. Uh, and friend, if you're God's creation, uh, I cannot tell you that God loves you. Amen. Uh, and God made a redemptive plan uh, uh, for you not to just see a homecoming, uh, uh, but for you to have a home going. Uh, uh, Jesus said uh, in John chapter 14, uh, is it alright if I preach a little while about home this morning? Uh, in John chapter 14, uh, He told us to let, let our hearts uh, be troubled. Uh, he said, you believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, in my Father's house uh, are many mansions. Uh, if it were not so, I would have told you. Uh, I go to prepare you a place. Uh, and if I go to prepare you a place, uh, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. Uh, I cannot tell you that's homecoming. Uh, that's home going. Amen. Uh, I remember uh, uh, Jesus said that day, uh, I remember to not let your heart get troubled. Uh, I'm sure you'll be sad uh, on certain occasions. Uh, I'm sure you might shed some tears like we have this morning. Uh, but friend, uh, uh, there is a better day coming uh, uh, for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, for the bride of Christ, uh, it's only going to get gooder and gooder. Amen. Uh, so I begin to think about uh, uh, who we're reading about this morning. Uh, and I told back through my mind. Uh, I got up real early this morning and started cooking. Uh, I'm one of them cooking preachers. Uh, I don't just eat chicken. Uh, I'll fry it too. Amen. Uh, I'll make meatloaf. Uh, I made corn and beans. Now I got your attention. Amen. Uh, I made all that stuff this morning because I, I enjoy cooking. Amen. Uh, and you can look at me and tell I enjoy liking to eat what I like to cook. Uh, and that's alright. Uh, but I was up this morning thinking about that. Uh, uh, the one service of the year uh, uh, where I can go back through my mind. Uh, uh, Brother Ronnie, I can see that little church house and under the hill uh, and them old saints of God getting out of their cars, uh, uh, packing their dishes, amen. Uh, uh, smiles on their faces. Uh, uh, going into the house of God. Uh, they'd sit all that downstairs. Uh, then we'd go into the upstairs. Uh, they'd get them old red back hymnals uh, and they'd sing the songs of Zion. I'm glad we still sing the songs of Zion uh, here in our little church at the end of the road uh, where they've got meaning in them. Uh, I love music. Amen. Uh, I like good singing. Uh, uh, good music that that, that uh, uh, gives a good praise unto Jesus. Uh, that's the reason I love them old hymn books. Uh, we'd go in there and they'd sing. Uh, sometimes we'd have some special singing. Uh, some of the best singing we ever had. Uh, in our our services has been on homecoming. I can still close my mind or close my eyes rather and hear Sister Connie standing right here singing about how beautiful how that heaven must be. She's sick in body this morning and they couldn't physically be here. But I believe they're joining with us through spirit this morning. I can still I can see Grandma and Grandpa and some of them that's been gone for years. I walking in down there in a time when I was a boy. I didn't have a care in the world. I life hadn't hit me wide open. I still Jesus was looking after me. I, do you know that even when you were out in sin, I, Jesus was looking after you. I, he didn't come so you'd have to die. He come so that you could live, amen, and have life more abundantly. I remember the those days. How many today would say, Preacher, I have precious memories of days just like what you're talking about, where people would gather together and in the Spirit of God would come in and they, buddy, they'd praise the good Lord for another year of life. I thought about that when I was reading this Scripture. This is the instructions that God gave to Moses. 
after he had instructed them on how to have the Passover. He was giving them in the season of the month of the day that they were to have of the Passover. He said, remember this day. This ain't a one-time thing. Every time you come to this month and you come to that day, you go back and you remember what God has done for you. How many today would say, preacher, I thank God for what He's done for me. Amen. I've been more blessed than I ever could imagine. God's been a lot gooder to me than the world's ever been bad to me. Though the devil may come after me. Though my burdens may get heavy. Though I may be sick from time to time. Still the good Lord looks down upon me. And still He smiles on me. And still His grace is as real right now than it's ever been. And thank God forever. I'm glad glad I'm living I'm for Jesus today. And I'm glad if I live tomorrow, He'll be right there. I'm glad I know who the Lord is. And I'm glad He knows me. Amen. Amen. Well, glory. I hope you got the cornbread covered up. I'd have drywall mud in it. Yeah. Somebody bite into a big bean after a while. And glitter in it from the ceiling. There's that wild preacher and his cowboy boots and his stomping and his screaming. Remember this day. Remember it, Moses. Write it down. Remembrance is when the same idea reoccurs. When the same thing. You come up now, listen, there's a lot of things that we would just soon forget bad things that's happened to us in our life. But let me tell you this. When you have something that you want to remember, and I looked up a technical definition for remembrance. That's to the transmission of a fact from one person to another. That's what a remembrance is. If I have something significant that happens in my life, and I want my children to remember that, I need to give them that remembrance. Say, this is what happened to you, Daddy, on this day and on this time. That is what a remembrance is. And God was telling Moses, I don't want you to forget, number one, what I've done for you. Amen. These people have been in Egypt's bondage for a long time. Joseph told them, don't leave my bones in Egypt. Amen. He said, take them out with you and bury them with my fathers. In other words, I ain't always going to be in this land. This country ain't meant for be my home. We're just sojourning here, and God's going to deliver us one day out of this land. And that's what happened when God sent Moses in. Amen. And Aaron, and, and listen, they had saw some great things. They'd saw the river that run through Egypt turn into blood. Uh, they'd saw frogs. Amen. I preached on that one time, about one more night with the frogs. And ever they'd Open their bed chambers had frogs in them. The window seals had frogs in them. They get something out of the oven, there's frogs. Them old slimy frogs was everywhere. Uh, they had lice, they had uh, they had uh, flies, they had all these twelve plagues. Uh, but the one uh, that got their attention uh, was when all the firstborn in that country uh, died, amen. Uh, but if there was somebody uh, that was behind the door uh, and the blood of the Lamb had been put, uh, upon the doorpost and upon the lintels of that house. He said, when I pass by, I'll pass over you. Amen. When the angel of death enters this place, it'll not come in your house. Because when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. You know what God was telling Moses? Don't you never forget what the blood has done for you. Hey, church, don't you never forget what the blood has done for you. Amen. What did it do for me, preacher? It saved you from your sins. It cleansed you from your unrighteousness. It washed you and made you a fit subject for the kingdom of heaven. I bless God. It'll heal you. It'll sustain you. The blood is life. Amen. And where there's no blood, there is no 
life. Uh, but where the blood's at, uh, there's eternal life. Amen. Uh, don't forget them little lambs, Moses, uh, how that their blood was shed. Uh, their bodies were broken. Uh, they were males of the first year. Uh, they were without spot. Uh, they were without blemish. Uh, uh, there was nothing wrong with them. Uh, and their blood uh, I was so innocent uh, uh, that it covered the sin of the family. Uh, well, glory. I'm glad Jesus is the firstborn. Uh, that He didn't have a spot. Uh, and He didn't have a blemish. Uh, that He's the Lamb of God that was slain for you and I. Amen. 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 Remember this day, Moses. Remember it. Well, when God brought them out, they got joy. We're down in my heart. We're we're oh, I've got joy, 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 joy. We're Amen. How many believe that now? You got Jesus, you got joy. Amen. Unspeakable and full of glory. Oh, the joy there is to know that this ain't all there is to life. I remember the day that the Lord saved me. Amen. Anybody else? Amen. I was so unworthy. I didn't feel like I fit into the plan of God. I didn't feel like God could use me. I just felt like I was out of the back. God just let me die out of the back. I believe God got after me one morning. I believe Brother Earl got after somebody yes, else's service today. Yes. Uh, who is it, preacher? You know who you are, amen. Uh, how do I know if it's God? You oh. can't mistake the voice of God. Uh, I there ain't never been a voice like it. Uh, and there'll never be another like it. Uh, I'll show you that you're lost in sin. Uh, I remember the day that God got after me. Uh, and boys, I'm telling you, I'm glad He didn't let up, amen. Uh, I'm glad He showed me that I was lost. Uh, and showed me. I had a Savior that would pick me up and dust me off. I remember that day, amen. I saw when the devil comes after you this week. I remember the day Jesus saved your soul. I remember the day that He cleansed you and made you whole. Remember the day that your life changed, amen. Joy, peace, all that came in. And then the Lamb's blood was spilt. And God said, behind that door, the righteous blood has secured the one that's behind that door. What's God say about that, preacher? Psalms 112 and verse 5 said, A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he hath shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be an everlasting remembrance. Amen. Hey Noah, there's a record book and my name is there. Hey Matthew, it's wrote down. And when I get there, that's what's going to be opened up. Amen. And my name, it won't be because I was a preacher here. It won't be because I, I lived in this world that I live in. But it'll be because I accepted Jesus as my Savior and my name was written down. That's the only way anybody will get in. You can't shake my hand. You can't be baptized enough. You can't join every church in the country and make it to heaven. You must be saved. Amen. You must be born again. And I tell you, if you put your faith in God, He ain't going to forget that day. Amen. Right. Oh my. Yeah. Kenneth, at the right hand of God is Jesus. Amen. At the right hand of the Father is the Son. Yeah. And the Son ever lives, Brother Terry, to make intercession for you and I. He ain't forgot us, church. This world just soon forget us. This world just soon shut every church down. This world just soon take our songbooks and our Bibles and take the joy right out of us. This world just soon these old loud mouth, bald headed fat preachers would shut up. Amen. Oh, but God ain't forgot about us. What do you mean He ain't forgot about us? God knows when you get up of the day. God knows when you go out the door. God knows when you go to bed. God said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And buddy, I believe that. Amen. I tried it and it works. Remember this day. Amen. 
Well, what's special about this day? God told Moses, when you do this, you're going into a land of milk and honey. A land where there's been strangers that's tried to occupy that land. But I'm going to move them strangers out before you ever get up there. Buddy, didn't God do it? He done it. He said, this land's going to have milk and honey. It's going to be a sweet land. And you ain't never seen nothing like it in your life. He said, I'll tell you what I want you to do. Why did God tell them don't eat leavened bread? Bread that had the acting agent in it to make it rise. Because He didn't want them to think that I need to help God. He wanted them to know that God would help them. And you remember this day, Moses, because you're going to eat bread that's pure and I'm the one that's going to bring it up. He was going to feed them man in the wilderness. And as Brother Terry said this morning, I'm going to sit down and spread with God one day. I ain't never eaten nothing like it in my life. Amen. God Himself's going to feed us. But before we get to there, you need to remember this day. What do you mean remember this day, preacher? Wouldn't it be wonderful this morning to see somebody stand up out of their seat and walk down this aisle? We'll find it out, amen. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I felt bad, and I got up here. I felt better than I felt in a while. I'm a preacher. Mercy. Homecoming church. It's more than a dinner. It's more than fellowship. I'll tell you this: it's more than just worship. It's a remembrance. When you come in this place. Every time you walk in here, I pray that you remember the way that God made you feel when you got in His presence. He's the only one I ever know that can break old hard heart in a million pieces. He's the only one I ever know that when I can walk in His presence, there'll be a song sung I need to hear. There'll be a word shared I need to hear. I'm going to get a message from God that I need that day. And I'll tell you what, when that happens, church, we ought to remember that day. This is about my fourth book that I'm going on. I write stuff down in it that God shows me. Stuff that's happened in the services. Stuff that throughout the years, I can take you back about seven or eight years with these books that I've jotted down every Sunday. If somebody was saved or something like that, are you the clerk? No, I'm not. And I'm glad I ain't. Sister Angie does a wonderful job at that. But I just like to look back at it and see just how good that God is. And when the devil comes at me and says, God ain't no good, I can look at this and say, right here says he's good. I right here says he's good. Right here says he's good. Everything right here says he's good. Have I got anybody today that say, yes, sir, preacher, God's good, amen. From the front to the back, God's good, amen. Not a day has he left me. Not a day has he disappointed. God is good, amen. Now, let me close with this. Remember this day. I had a man one time ask me, and don't you get offended at me when I tell you this. And don't think don't take this the wrong way. Now, buddy, we're going to go down in a minute and we're going to fellowship. But this is the most important part of the service. I had a man ask me one time, when's your homecoming? And I told him, he said they plan to eat. And I figured out real quick why he wanted to be there. Now you can think bad of me if you want to, but last time I seen him, he said, when's your homecoming? I said, I'll tell you when it gets close. Well, I didn't run into him. So he ain't here. <laughs> you mean you didn't want him there, preacher? Well, sure I did. But I don't want him sitting there with a fork and spoon in his front pocket and never show back up again. 
Now think better of me if you want to. Amen. But I'm here to worship God. And what we're doing downstairs, it's going to be wonderful. And we're going to fellowship and have a good time. But I know that's not why you all are here. I know you're here to worship God. Amen. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. I spent time this week. And I put my head on my pillow. I said, God, I need a little help today. Amen. I'm struggling, Lord. Can I do that? Been there. Got down on my knees. Prayed and cried and said, God, I understand why I'm going through some of the things I am. God said, I'm here. I got you surrounded by these brothers and sisters that's going to help you get through it. Ain't you glad you're part of a local body of believers? But today, I believe if I understand it right, the Bible says, Brother Carlos, now is the day of salvation. You know, give us a song. Now is the accepted time. Now, if you hear his voice, pardon not your heart. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When is it, church? Now. now. When do I need to get saved, preacher? Now. now. If God is calling you. And don't be like the man that I knew several years ago. <clears throat> Went to church when he was a young man. God spoke to his heart. He turned him away. You know God's only obligated to speak to you one time. After that, you're living in the mercy of God. But God didn't speak to him for several years. This man got way up in his 70s. Hitting 80 year old. Every time we'd go down there to White Oak to church and preach revival, he'd be the first one on the altar and the last one to leave. And I asked him one time, I said, Brother, is there something I can help you with? And he said, I turned God away when I was a young man. And he's never spoke to me since. And I'm begging him for one more chance. Just a teenage boy when God spoke to him. And he lived to be Way up in his 70s. And went every day of his life knowing if I die right now, I'm going to hell. Lord have mercy. Finally one Sunday night, Brother Muncy, God spoke to him. The prayers of God's people. You think they mean something to God? I know they mean something to God. That's the reason the Bible said the effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. One Sunday night, at a regular meeting, he come walking up the aisle, but something was different. Tears were streaming down his face. He said, God has spoke to me. I want to be saved. And he accepted Jesus as his Savior. The next Sunday, they baptized him. The next Sunday, they buried him. That close. Friend, don't you leave out of here today under conviction. If you're lost, you come and be saved. 